So this patient had goldy lock. Mastectomy, and I was trying to teach you about goldy locks. Usually, if the patient has totic breast, no. Obviously, I'm talking about mastectomy, so it will be cancer. Totic breast, right? And if you cannot, patient cannot afford an implant, or is not too well. I mean, it's not not fit enough for. A prolonged procedure, like you know, autologous. Yes. No, <laughs> flaps and reconstruction, prolonged ones, like free flap, etc. Implant can't afford this. You don't want, or otherwise also, if the patient is not too keen on a very extensive work. So it's a basically no rocket science here. Skin sparing. Mastectomy. The same was done in this patient. But what did we observe when we were doing skin sparing? We found we had sent you know the coating of nipple for frozen. Yes, you want to be? You must have seen that, yes, right? You saw the procedure. So Muskan, we had sent this scoring, which came out to be doubtful. So we 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 were earlier planning a nipple and areola and skin sparing mastectomy. Then we got down to that is called NSSM. Yes. But then we got down to SSM. Yes. Because if it is doubtful, we excised it. Yes. So when this was excised, we have an option to go. Like this is the breast. We have an option to go like we conventionally do, like this, for mastectomy, yes. or we can take a periareolar incision and do the skin sparing, yes. or we can do what is called the wise pattern, where we of course measure the gra gradient which is there in the video. You would see that. And basically, this is the incision that we plan. Yes. So through this incision, we did skin sparing mastectomy. Yes. So the breast was removed. Yes. Now we didn't have any areola, etc. Nothing left, but we had an envelope. This one and this one will also remain. And in between the two, breast was removed. So to get some volume, we did LD flap because she had some volume. Yes. If she had some fat here, if she doesn't have it, then it will be difficult. Okay. So then we were left with something like this. So we deepetalize the whole thing. Deepetalize means it can be go shoved in, and the superior one remained as before. So the superior one came on top of this. This was shoved in after we have put the LD flap. So LD came in, and then we provided cover using this, and we use a little island of skin to make an areola, and it got close something like this. So instead of a Horizontal closure. It was a vertical closure, so it became like this. So this was this became the areola plus LD inside, okay, and this is also called as anchor. Looks like an anchor of a ship, no? Yes. So this is anchor pattern, a wise pattern, and that is the you can share those pictures, yes. no, of the uh, post up post up pictures of this. That will show the uh, Goldie locks with LD. So sometimes nowadays we what we practice is instead of going horizontally, yes. we are going vertically. Why? Because Mount. if you really look at it, if I just uh, you know this is this is the breast tissue, and if I 
go vertically, there is a mount. Whenever you, how do I do it? Circle the nana. I think I can show it here. I have removed a chunk of breast corner. So you are deficient now? As I close it, see, mount. It's a law of physics, no? Basically. So that, so when you suture the, so this was the. If I close it here, this will project. Yes. So that is the purpose of getting the projection. So you saw the case. You can share the pictures. But what we lost was the envelope here. This did not do as well. This is all right, but this did not do as well. Which can happen if the blood supply is jeopardized. This patient was post new adjunct chemotherapy, and breast conservation can be a challenge. So. This patient was very keen on having a breast. And don't think patients don't want a reconstruction. So it's a myth when when the surgeon says, no, patient did not want a breast conservation surgery. Well, that's wrong because today we know that BCS is not only equal to mastectomy in terms of, in terms of disease-free survival, recurrence-free survival, overall survival. It's as good. But now there are studies to show that BCS is even superior. Of course, this looks paradoxical, but in my lectures you can find it. More, more uh, trauma to patient leads to release of factors, cytokines, interleukins, etc. The immunity gets, the, gets down and patients do poorly. So less insult, less trauma means better outcome. Are you getting what I'm saying? So this was the first case that you saw, which um, we will have to now. We saw that the LD is all right, fine, but envelope needs redoing. But that's not a major cost to pay for the mound that we have achieved. So we can cut out the the dead skin because no antibiotics in the world. So don't be under a wrong impression. So there are various other reasons why the envelope can fail later. That is if one is of course ischemia but the other is maybe the pressure of the mound that you are putting, you close under tension, that can be a factor. And usually if you look at it, it's the anchor fails at the T junction. This is where it fails. So what modification we have done is, we take a rather than a circle, a semicircle, we take a little you know, triangle up and this is the suture line. So this allows for the tension to be released. Imagine this flat versus, so this tension is reduced by having a suture with a triangle lifted up. That's a skin tag which is lifted up. So you create a triangle rather than a semicircle. So this would look like rather than a classical anchor. So that will relieve tension at T. But in spite of that, this has worked all right. But we have not, we are not too keen. We are not very happy with the part which is closer to where we will be from the end. So understood. Offer it to every patient who is going for mastectomy. And when you talked about, when you talk about conservation versus mastectomy, you should not confuse it. It is certainly not only. I mean, it definitely is not inferior to mastectomy, but superior in certain situations. So when you are offering it to the patient, you should know yourself, otherwise you can't counsel your patient well. If counseling would be faulty when you don't know yourself, if you don't know yourself, you know, like she's looking after the recovery part, post-surgery, the breathe. So if she doesn't know herself, how is she going to teach? <coughs> Most of you would believe <coughs> there is no rocket science in it. This is this everything is professionally done. So she's doing a scoring where she'll find out how do they do before and after. Does it improve their well-being? Does it improve their 
rescue score? Does it improve their quality of life? So everything matters. Is that clear? Now, it will be easier here if I show you. This is flat here. When I bring it here, see? It is flat. When I bring it up here, projection happens. So when I remove a triangle, this will be sutured like this. So it will kind of what get projection. When the base gets narrower, the top gets projected. And the second case you saw was the oral cancer, which is buccal mucosa cancer, right? They're all the same for us. So we had done a right-sided cheek commando, where we had done wide local excision with three-dimensional clearance of the, you know, what did we remove? We removed skin, muscle and mucosa. So what do we need to cover it? Skin, muscle, mucosa. So what you remove, you have to provide. So we got it in this case from the PMMC flap, which is pectoralis major myocutaneous flap. It is based on pectoral branch of thoraco acromial artery, which is a branch of second part of axillary artery. So we lifted it up based on, so how do we lift it up? This is the neck, I'm drawing a cartoon. Take a midpoint of the clavicle and draw a straight line. You bang on the pec major and uh, close to in a male where the nipple areola is either medial to it or lateral to it, you can have a paddle designed accordingly, skin paddle. Keep cutting down, lift up the muscle, the supply is coming here and you have the skin, muscle and the inner lining would be made by the same. You can make it into a bipedal. I mean artery can support skin in two parts. So when you go here, we have one to form the inner lining, the other to provide the outer cover. Or we can do a deltopectoral flap, which is what was done in the second case that you, the case that you saw yesterday. Yes. This is an older case. This was done a week before. So deltopectoral flap, which is based on perforators of internal memory, that is lifted up, and the pec major flap is used to provide the inner lining, and the outer cover is provided by the deltopectoral. So you basically need to replace what you removed. Patient came for a follow-up. So, what exercises would you advise here? I'll teach. So this is involving the the neck, right? And we have the spinal accessory nerve going, supplying the trapezius. Movements of the trapezius get struck, and the rotatory movements of the arm get affected. So, we make the patient move the limb accordingly, and touch the head, gradual abduction, gradual movements at the shoulder. A general well-being is best achieved by making them walk, which improves their stamina, their ability to take. Exercise also is important. Sometimes they have to be fit enough. They've never done an exercise before they fell ill, and you want them to do it when they've fallen ill. It's the wrong time to start it. You getting what I'm saying? Like. Um, if somebody has not done any weightlifting beforehand, walking, running, and now abhi teri surgery hoga yab to teri ko dhor lagani padegi. Okay, abhi to main itni mushkil se to thik hua. I had never done it in my life, so that's not the best time to start it. So start gradually. Everybody has a different threshold for surgery, exercise. So we'll start with that. But shoulder moment because what would be the test for spinal accessory? Shrugging, no. So make him shrug at least 50 times a day. Huh? And then in one in, uh, video, it has been com communicated that 150 times a day you should do exercises for breast surgery. So, 50 only so, wa 50 da, 150 so, 150 times, so, then you can't do anything else. Or you can eat any food in the exercise ki style. Mein khai. So, that's a possibility. That he does an exercise and he eats his food. Uh, you can't be doing it in Shir so Therefore, it has to be tailored to that individual. Every patient is different in taking 
in response to treatment and also taking to exercise. Same exercise to all is not going to work. Yes.